Into as an approach to the game, they want to be in your face. They want to be aggressive. They want to be proactive. And when you see this comp, Leeson, Sion, Leon, and like that signals go, go, go. But the tools that BDS have put together with the Aatrox, with the Cassio, they got well. The so just trying to set up these lanes to be the late game carries is going to be your big one. Finn isn't going to have the best of times against Adam, but at least as this game goes on, he will just become that mega tank. So scale to later from the Shio. Well, going to be able to trade. This is a 3v2 for now, but look at the rest of the members of Astralis. Shio's down to 100 hit points, flashes over the wall. Not going to be chased just yet. The rest of Astralis stepping forward. Leader's got that passive charge, flash forward, knock up the snake! Sonic Wave and Resonating Strike, first blood secured for Leader's Annie. I would like to feel sorry for Duke, but the second he flashed that Fnatic logo, that's when he died. I was like, you know what? You deserve that just a little bit. But... Oh, <laughs> what does that do for the laning phase? I mean, on all those tier lists, you've got S rank, A rank, B rank. I think for a team like B, D, and S, I want to see uh, what rank we give their mid game. As the engages come out here onto LeBron, remember flashless from that roam to the middle lane. And that was just easily set up. Yonghu knowing the summoner spell was down, Charles wanted to do is happening. No flash on leader. Tibbers is available to him, a three man setup, and Jonghoon will be just a moment or two away. Dredge Line pulls him backwards, the passive boop, the flail forward, the Zenith Blade deep onto Nuke, but now all of a sudden Jonghoon's in trouble. He committed that flash just a little earlier. There's not enough damage to follow it up, and that's the first kill for BDS. Nice job by BDS coming in on both sides with the reset coming in from up towards the mid, and with Herald just spawning up, multiple members of Astralis, they're looking for an opportunity, and Adam is going to use that Q forward. Goes down the world, end up pulled backwards by Finn's Unstoppable Onslaught. Sonic Wave, Resonating Strike, the chains backwards! And Astralis find their third kill. Look at the 1980s Pong games with all the CC from Sion, from Lee Sin, from Aatrox. <laughs> And ultimately, it's a kill for Astralis. Copy's gone all the way forward. He's flashed for this. Crown has used the cleanse, used the flash below 100. One more shot's needed, and Copy picks up the solo kill on Zeri. And Copy's making so He needs to deal with the Lee, the Leona, the Scion to get to that back line. And right now, Astralis, they're not done yet. Dragon's Rage is used by 113 defensively. Get rid of that threat. Three versus four. Tippers is available. Flash forward, drop down. And the bear slap to the face sends Crowny packing. Geo is now backed up by Love Robin. Four members running for their lives, but Astralis, they've got the kill. They've got the minion wave, Conga lining its way forward. And all of this has allowed Nuka a little bit of uncontested time in that middle lane. Over. Does Shio just linger the whole time, though, Dagda? Oh, TP coming in. They want to turn this. Jong Hoon doesn't have the ult, though, and it's a bit of a trek. Oh, here comes the charge. Sion going all the way forward. Crowny is flashless. The Zenith Blade connects as well, and he's dropped. And once again, the third time, the Ignite no. Burning, 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 and LeBron goes down too. Astralis are popping off. BDS, this bot lane doesn't exist. They've just been... lead. The fact that the tower and six plates were picked up by BDS means they're in touching distance of gold. Nuke, that's not the petrifying gaze you were looking for. He's knocked into the wall. Here comes Shield, the present by some time. The solar flare won't work it out though. 113 with the backup of Yonghoon and Finn get themselves the kill. And Shio unable. I know, I know. The, the Scion, the dead Scion exactly. counts. It counts. Yeah, yeah, it right, counts. Yeah. Well, might need a bit more here. Let's find out. World Ender is dropped. Leader waiting for those cooldowns, running a little bit lower mana. Umbral Chains goes up. The third Q not going to connect just yet. Stopwatch uh -oh. uh -oh. has been dropped. No support from either. And Adam picks up the solo onto Leader. So tell me again why well, that's another champion. Does that to stop? Cobby from using that burst fire. Prevent him from using the gold advantage. Keep your eyes on leader though. He hasn't been spotted. This is the problem of BDS coming in blind. He's been hiding around the corner and they have no idea. Just now spotted by Labra. Oh my word. Leader wants to drop the Teddy. Wants to drop the fire. Wants to push forward. That's Yonghoon. Man, he has to find the Zenith. Oh, the Zenith comes out. Astralis have found the engage. They found the kill onto Shio before he can throw the prison. But it's at the cost of Yonghoon's life. And with Nuke dropping as well, Astralis have the advantage. Cobby remains untouched. Trying to take down Adam is trying to kill 113. So far to fight on multiple fronts, but Copy remains untouched for now. Adam no way. The heal, forces the flash, but there's too many members alive. Dashing away to safety. Copy wants to clean it all up. Step just on top of the flame choppers, and the fight goes to Astralis. They were some very warm regards from Adam, but just about Copy's able to keep himself alive, and Astralis will get the drive. We're just slamming again and again and again. That allowed them to be, I think it was a 4 for 3 in the end. We come straight out of that into another fight in the river. Yonghoon throws out the solo flare. All of a sudden, here comes Finn. On top of Onslaught forward. Crown is trying to use the Hurricane as well as those rockets. But it's Lovrock dropped. 
inside the jungle. Nuke has arrived in a five versus four. To play around their vision and get things set up, but I think the last fight was a bit of a wake-up call for them about how much damage Adam can do. So as long as they are able to peel Adam and fight front to back, they should be relatively fine with leader, at least trying to find the flank, which he has now. No flashes for Nuke, for Crowny. She or Adam, they've got to push into the pit. Leader, no flash either. TP and heal right now for his spell book. Barrens down to 4,000. All five members of BDS stepping forward. Flame choppers have been used. Super Mega Death Craft. The rocket is available. Carpy's going to hop over the wall, turn to Adam and drop him where he stands. Jong Hoon will be the first target for Crowley, who gets excited. Both ADs on the board. Barrens down to 3,000. Wait BDS a sec. Wait a sec. Pit. BDS will be able to pick it up. It's Crowley that secures it. The Mega Death Rocket not going to be able to pick up the kill. And just like between them and the seeds below them. BDS, Baron and Part Siege, 30 seconds on that elder. Look at the minimap, look at the yeah, minimap. We've got split push here. BDS win this though, they have so many more members. We almost have the damage there from Crowny as well. Like, you don't win this, this is Baron and Powered Minions. Now the thing is, Ashok may want to look to fight. All right, Baron Siege is going on. Super Minions now in the middle lane. BDS want to escape with their life. Recalls being channeled here. 10 seconds for Elder. Dagda is very disappointed in the Shots' call. Because now they've got to try and fight their way back through the... Set up a final fight. That's the question. She's buying a lot of time on this one. Trying to stagger it. I have that Elder available for the potential Baron fight. I think that is next. Try and right those wrongs. Baron is up and available. BDS immediately turned towards it. It has been started. Hex Flash available for Young. Her solo Flare as well. No Flash for Leader. So that means the Flash Tip is not there. Blast Cone has been popped. Baron is going very low. Cassio as well as Jinx will burn this. It's Bao Pao. It's not used just They're yet. Waiting for it. Looking for the steal. Sonic Wave connects on the shield. 3,000 hit points. Are we going to flip this back the other way? Decimating Smash catches onto Shio. It's secured by BDS. And 1 3 is already taken down. Four members of Astros running for their lives. Nita may need to use that tip to keep himself up. Shio trying to look for that flank opportunity. The bear is inside the jungle. The teleport is being Kobe caught. And here comes Shio with Kobe caught. Clans available to him. Flash up as well. Lee is still trying to throw the spell down, but it simply doesn't matter. Nuke and Crowny spitting out the DBS. And it's BDS acing Astralis. They bring out the S plus team fights of BDS with the triple kill for Crowny. Finding that success in the late game, they will take this control. On a scale of B, D, or S, it is S all the way. BDS take down Astros and go four and one in spring. What a wild ride. That was an emotional roller coaster that I am so here for. That was beautiful. The fact that Crowny as well in the end couldn't quite get control in the early stages. Manages to bring it back and draw out to these later fights. And eventually the Cassiope and the Jinx, just too much frontline damage coming through from the- Lisa and the Zeri, the Luludori, they've got disengaged tools. They can buy time for Chase to play on that split push, but it is obviously a slightly mismatch in terms of how their comp works, because what is your engage? Just throw a Jackson and hope Shockwave hits? Yeah, and that's basically it. I actually Success. It's... Ghost and Flash secured from Kazi. Still, nice job from Kazi to manage to just get away from that. Now, Video in trouble, though. All right, fight, fight, fight. Safeguard forward. Flash, Tempest, Cripple, Sonic Wave. Resonating strike available. Lee Syndrome goes forward, but it was on to Zerse. Niski's not backwards, and it's Axel with an excellent first blood. Kazi hops over the wall, though, and Aloya not going to land. That's Sonic Wave. Axel get the first kill. Way JC found Odo. Oh, the stun. One more auto forces the flash away, and Hodo escapes with oh, his gold. Is concerned. And Dragon is infernal to start off. As Zerse fancies himself the uh -oh. shot flash over the wall, got a little too far. Rest of Exile trying to close the gap, but that flash was fantastic. Hillisang used himself as bait, level six. Shockwave was already used. Vito trying to run for his life. The Tempest, the Cripple, the Sonic Wave. And now Yoya is not going to. If he wins this game or tomorrow's game, it'll be the 100th win. Niski in LEC. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of a confetti for him as and when it happens. In a matter of time, and as we talk about it, we'll throw out that shockwave. Here comes Alioya. And is this the opposite of a cast to curse? Beautifully set up, beautifully dunked down. Look at that. Talk about uh, Niski finds a kill. Yeah. Is that not your fault as well? Is that how this one goes? That is <laughs> I, I don't think yesterday. that's an opposite counter curse as Kazi <laughs> will throw down the ult. The feathers have been flown from Mad Lines. Make that four, and Chasey can make his way from mid lane two. Yeah, this is the ultimate we're talking about. Excel are so good at buying space with this. Then they can look for poke with video. The train comes on through, but there's no one at the station. There's not, but it's forced away, Mad Lions. The shot boss does so much damage. Dragon secured by Excel. The crash comes down. <laughs> the wish is used. And Vito is forced to run for 
for his life. He stays alive because he's stepping forward, bursting his way through. The Ultra Shark laser does a little bit more. Dragon goes to XL, kill, yeah. trade. Uh, feather call, uh, feather storm as well as flash available to him, so it's a difficult target. Okay, ward hop and flash is up there for your Sonic Wave sidestep. Smite comes out, the feathers fly, and Patrick looking for the kill! Get wrecked, Aloya! And immediately... Okay, EDS Strauss and Koi teams immediately around them. So for XL to make it to the group stage, they need to pick up wins starting today. And the next weekend, they find themselves a kill in the chase, and this is exactly what you want to see from XL to try to put themselves in contention. It's likely the Archer delivers, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen next because as Mad Lions, they got the tower. They're now trying to apply pressure in the jungle, but here comes Patrick. Won't be able to find the route for now, but he still just obliterates Hilly. Couldn't even use that wild growth. Like. Sonic wave in, so you don't just face check immediately into. I will say, though, a lot of pressure on VT on Patrick. They cannot afford to get caught out. Oh, look at that! The shot blast on the back line. Zerse will get taken out. Teleport is channeled. And Scion Speedway's trying to curve the corner. Patrick and Vito on the retreat. They're the damage dealers. Odo looking for that decimating smash. As Kazi will hop over the wall. The shot blast! Vito snipes Hilly for the second time. Unable to use that wild growth in a 4v4. Vito's found the target, found the aim. He's found the headshot off the headshot. And he's looking for the wall hack. Now going to turn his attention to Chasey. Feathers fly, flashed away from by Chasey, but he's caught. Which is a rock in a hard place. Long range blast cone is still being run down. The speed up though, coming through. Video catches Chasey, and will take him out of here. Put the hammer down. It's Patrick that gets the kill. Huge, especially in these enclosed corridors. Patrick's all the way forward. His feathers are available in just a second. He may be needing them. Stepping backwards, holding onto the flash. But with Patrick low, this gets a little scary. Grasp of nature, and the meow 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 cats are thrown forward. Chasey's caught up, Counter-Strike buying some time. Unstoppable onslaught goes out, and Chasey will get wild growth back. Odo is being bursted down by the zaps. Kazi hops over the wall. Patrick remains alive for now. Niski goes forward, flashes away from the shockwave. Limit stays alive long enough to wish down. All of a sudden finds one back into a yo-yo with a chase forward. Mad Lions are routed, are wrecked, and are running. But Kazi has a lot to say. He's caught in place. He smashed backwards, and the rest of XL take him down. Limit silences Karzi in that one to make sure he can say no more. And XL turn immediately over towards the dragon. That's three on the cards now for XL. And with the limit line started uh, a little weak, and they've bounced back. And it's Mad Lions that have to find a way back into the game because they are at the risk of losing Baron. It's been started off here by XL, down to 7,000. Teleport is available for Niski, but he's coming from the mid lane. Chasey's from the top lane. Odo's looking to cut him off. Four and a half thousand. 4v4 towards the pit. Odo and Niski stepping towards the river. They got him! Oh, they got him! Niski's gone! He's gone! There's no shockwave! And now you gotta try and make this hero steal as Oyoya. Flash is gonna be up in just seven seconds if he can get in, but Odo Omne is on the hunt. Bruh. Baron's reset. Hilly, no. Hilly, no. Chasey steps forward. Decimating smash. Knocks up the helicopter. Uh -oh. Unstoppable onslaught. And Vito find another kill. That's the solo lane is down. And that is Baron being set up. Mad Lines, come on. Throw yourself in the meat grinder. Try one more time. I'm sure it'll work out this time round. Ayoya is trying to look for an angle. Trying to find that sonic wave. Try to get into the pit. But Hilly's just being sniped from down a town. The Barret from Vizio is being used. Ayoya is running for his life, and the Baron has been secured. And now XL are starting to back away. Mad Lions just making sure they're actually turning tail here, but really solid stuff from XL. Still, though, Video. The fight is continuing. Decimating Smash comes up. Wild Growth thrown down on Akazi. He's trying to burst his way through Odo. Six seconds before the ultimate comes up and available and will get turned into zombie mode. A consolation prize, if ever, with teleport available to him. Now they're starting to be able to push up as a team. And the fact as well that they're able to just have Odo soak up all this damage. And man, because the bar buff can't really clear anything else. They can't. And look, they're trying to chase a bird that has flash, that has feathers. And it's oh. going to be able to turn this one around almost. Chasey nearly taken down. Nyan Cat, Nyan Cat, gonna go forward. Forces the flashes from so many members. And it's Hilly once more caught out inside his own base. XL are using the range to perfection. Kazi is trying so incredibly hard 
to save this game. It's a 7,000 gold deficit. Chase, he's spinning around, trying to find the Counter-Strike. Patrick has used everything, still got the feathers, throws them out. No one's a throw being caught just yet. The Shockwave with Niski Zoriana has done nothing but throw sombreros this game. Nodo will at least be interrupted and maybe conceded once more. Drop down into that zombie form. Teleport's coming out here from Mad Lions. Chasey once again looking to initiate the Winions! <laughs> the Winions have taken more! Vision is absolutely littered in the Northern Quadrant. It's going to be Exile starting that. Goodbye! Goodbye! Mad Lions make that the Sad Lions. Pop, pop, pop! It's not done just yet. As Zerse will engage once more. The wish comes out. Limit gets himself the kill this time around. The Mad Lions obliterate in the mid lane. No shockwave will save you now. Five members of XL pouring onto the Nexus. And XL make a statement win here in week two. Acing Mad Lions, destroying them from start to finish. And XL keep group stage hopes alive. A fantastic win from Excel there. Playing around the early stage as well. Getting this mid lane control, looking for these early objectives and being constantly able to bully everyone on Mad Lines away from objectives with this ultimate on the Maokai was so crucial to that win. Not exactly traditional picks or like the most common for the players. It's still team fight though. We wanna go in, we wanna go ham go these late game fights and using Jarvan to see if he can get some and It was the team fights was the engaged tools. And being a reckless this time around. Now stepping forward, minion wave just being thinned down. And while that's happening, Razork is up in the top lane. Feathers fly, Mercer's rooted. The polymorph comes up and Mercer may go down. First blood to Fnatic. There's another fight in the river. Yanko's forced to flash for his life. Level four for Yurubi, sends the sand soldiers forward. Slide, the glide, there's no divide. He's only level four. Fnatic get a second before it's traded back. He's no mana. Now Ruby's got no more mana. Run out of space, run out of soldiers. But here comes Epi. Decimate Smash comes out and it's Fnatic that have got three kills. The shove backwards. epi has got no flash and he's taken down. Four kills to Fnatic. Oscar Nenin has a thousand gold lead at the four minute mark. Fnatic have come alive again. Yanko's trying to interrupt, but spot on the ward. Will EQ over the wall, but Ryzerok's in position. Well, gonna charge up that Q. Knocks back Yankos. Seismic shove to the fifth. Kill secured. And because of those skirmishes and the time spent away. Now Yankos looking to get involved. The only kill Heretics have secured is with Yankos. He's got himself that Cataclysm available. He can lock in Oskarunen, who has no flash. oscarin has got himself the kill already, and at least replies with one back. So a one-for-one -one trade maybe pushes that wave forward. Right now, going to set themselves up. Cease, desist. Mercer, you cannot flash from that one, buddy. But he's put enough distance that Humanoid and that VN cannot get in range. Mercer's waddling his way forward. The Weaver's Wall is thrown off, and your route is cut off. Another kill to Fnatic, and they extend that lead even further. And immediately, Jack Spectra gets the hell out of the bot lane, but it may not be quick enough. It may not. The depth charge comes out as well. Denton oh, blows hook. into that dredge line. Fnatic are not done yet. Eight kills, a plate on the bottom tower. And this is just accelerating. Side. This is insane humanoid. Spot it, Ruby. Well, Ruby gets caught by the seismic shove. Stepped on top of the unraveled earth. Uses the Emperor's Divide, but the threaded volleys are coming out. Sand Soldier to 200. 150. Humanoids low. 80. Down to 7. 7 hit points in at the end. to turn around. Slap him with the anchor at the end. And Razzlog picks up another. Calculated. Humanoid gets out on 7 HP just as the rest of the cavalry show. Up. At the end, Oscar and I came in today ready to um, poop on your performances this uh, spring. 4-1-0-2-0-1. You are showing up and shutting up the Heretics members. But at what cost does Razork will overextend? Fnatic feeling themselves a little too much. They get caught out and they concede their third now death in Fnatic's back pocket. And I think they're going for a dive, Dagda. Yeah, Razork on the way, Humanoid here as well. Stone is perfect, Evie forced to flash early. He survives for now. Warbreaker being charged up, knocked backwards, Oscar in it. And a little bit of threat. While that's going on, potential fight in the top lane. It's down to the river. That is what is happening right now. Humanoid's waiting for that line. Empress Divide is available to Ruby. Fnatic inside the pit. In actual fact, the wall is used. 
to prevent the retreat. The dredge line finds no target, dragging down to 4,000. Conquering, shifting, soldiers move forward, Cataclysm comes out to resource. Everything thrown in the river is Yankos. That gets the dragon, the cease, the desist, picks up the kill onto Yankos and his house screen and runs for his life. He's dropped, Evie flashes to buy some time. Three members of Heretics are running away for now. And Evie and Zombie form chasing, one, two members down. Hubert hops over, threading that volley forward. The seismic shove misses his target and Reckless cannot get into range. A two for three in favor of Fnatic, but the dragon goes to Heretics. Side lanes don't matter. 5v5. Who's got the better team fight? The Baron has been started here as a bait. Ebby's waiting on the side. Unstoppable onslaught is available to him. He can run into multiple, multiple members of Fnatic. Decimating smash charge. Won't find a target. Oscar gets the stun. Seismic shove out. Resort will not find another and still dancing on the threat ranges. Empress divides to buy time. Oscar in it uses the softball to Reckless remains untouched. Oscar flashes off to safety as Reckless is throwing out the feather. Still got the ult available to him. Fnatic are destroying heretics. Three quick kills and they can peel back for the Baron. They absolutely cleared that fight out. It was a nice attempt from Ebi to get that flank, but Fnatic, as soon as they spotted that there was no sign in the pit, they started checking every brush along the way so they didn't get caught out, and Ebi ends up giving... Individuals looking to create opportunities, no one really being able to do so. Oh, the Dragon Strike, just a little short, but the recall finishes. Cataclysm locks in multiple members. Reckless forced to flash away. Blade Call is backwards. Nobody's died just yet at the end. Dredge lines forward. That will cost him his life. Remember, as soon as that recall finishes, all of a sudden, Heretics pull the trigger. Oscar Linen is applying pressure in the top lane. Fnatic trying to buy as much time as they can. Decimating smash out. Ruby flashes forward. The divide sends Fnatic the same to Reckless is shut down. Jax Petra gets the kill, and Humano will be the next target. Threaded Volley gets himself another. While that's going on, Oscar Linen is applying pressure in the top lane. Should be able to get the top tier too, but won't get much more. Ganko's in a position to make sure that he can try and catch this, but. Stoppable onslaught. I'm waiting for the trigger. Waiting for him to go forward. Holding on to it for now. Weaver's Wolf. Cuts off Sion. He gets pulled backwards by the trench line, by the seismic shot. Throws out the ulti, but at least the knockout. The cataclysm comes forward. Razok is locked in. It's one for one. Support for top player, but Zombie Zion is doing so much. Oscar is running for his life. Razok engages in Reckless is trying to find the feathers, but he can't do it just yet. Jack Spectre is untouched. Wild Goat has kept him alive, and he is zap zap zapping his way through members of Fnatic. Heretics may have just won the fight. Sparks over the wall. Reckless feathers fly. Can't blade call them backwards yet, but it's Heretics. Heretics that win, it's Heretics that stop the soul, it's Heretics that get the dragon. And that's what we said, at three items, Heretics come alive, and immediately they find the team fight after, even sending Ebi. Okay, screw it, Fnatic, you start this one off, now you pull Heretics towards you. Yanko's reset, Yanko's went back for the force of nature, he's not here. They spotted it on the blue ward, right as the recall finish, Fnatic get to sneak away the Baron. They managed to sneak it out, despite the fact that he gets their Weaver's Wall used this time flawlessly, the ensuing fight, Cataclysm, comes down. Epi's already dead. Fnatic are losing one, losing another is Oscar Rinnan. He's using that Counter-Strike to avoid so much damage. Reckless holds on to his flash. Humor is throwing out those threaded volleys. It's a one for one. But the Baron goes to Fnatic. They snuck it under Heretic's nose. I don't know if it was Humanoid or Ruby. No flash for Oscar Razork and Humanoid. Reckless has his available. Jack Spectra's got the Hourglass as well. 30 seconds for the Dragon. It's Humanoid being chunked out. It's Epi. Stop eating dredge lines, man! He's taken out by Fnatic once more. Cataclysm has been used, and it does naught to help Heretics. With a 40 seconds before Epi's alive. Teleport's available to him. Fnatic have got a five versus four, but I think maybe less effective hit points. They're peeling into the river. They've got their sights set on that ocean soul. Humanoid trying to see if he can get the angle for the Weaver's Wall to separate out Heretics. They're moving in as four. Dragon started. Humanoid sends through the wall, and it's a beautiful setup. Dredge line connects on the Yankos, and Fnatic pounce! They want to take Wait down the Wait a second! Wait a second! The dragon secured! The soul has been picked up. It was Reckless that finalized it. But now one, two members of Fnatic are down. Jack Spectre gets knocked backwards! Humanoid with a seismic shove of all seismic shoves. Sets it up four kills, and Fnatic... Now they turn their attention to the inhibitor turrets. The one two. Boy, Astralis, G2, Mad Lions. Fnatic need to close this game out. I mean, look to tomorrow to Koi. Look to next week to pick up those wins to make it back into the group stage. Evi will already be taken out. The rest of Heretic simply cannot step into the mines. They cannot step into the feathers.
they can't get through the damage line that Fnatic have to allow Ruby and Jack Spectra to hit their targets. It's because they don't have a front line. The Ebi just gets blown up immediately every single time, and Yankos barely has a thought to consider before. So now with Baron, they immediately turn onto this top side. Still 15 seconds until Ebi is up. This has to be the final push yet. 10 seconds for Ebi to spawn. Baron and Batman is engaged from Brazil. The cease and desist. Yankos running for his life. GA is procced, and Superman is now in two lanes. Razork starting to step away, survives for now. Jack Spectre's flash will come up in just a moment. The Sand Soldiers are sent forward. Yankos goes to, there's no Cataclysm available to him. Look for that seismic shove. No, the shot goes out, that will catch Yankos. Oscar in, leap strikes backwards. Reckless can still throw the feathers out and lock people down, but it may not be needed. Empress Divine goes out, but Reckless is unstoppable. With Jack Spectra down, with Ebi following suit. Ruby's the last man standing, and Oscar Rinnan puts him in the fountain. Fnatic, after 50 days, after eight losses in a row, will finally stand up, will finally take a nexus, and will win their first game of spring. First game that they get an ace. First game that they can pick up a Baron, and first game that they can pick up the win. A first step for Fnatic on a long, long road for them to get back to groups. But that is a start and a half that they needed. They needed it and came at a desperate time. The halfway mark here in the regular season. Now one and four. And while Lissandra. Yes, I wow. love this champion, and it's not just because I play too many A ramps. Actually, such a fantastic yeah. engage tool. Zaya they can't fight it. Malrank's just going to take a base, gets over to the Gromp, needs one more camp for level six. Trimmy's just spotting. You know, Markum doesn't have smite, so they were a little bit hesitant there, SK, but not much of a response because he chunks him out, and he knows that the Rakan wants to move topside for Herald, and he knows he won't be able to base and get there in time. So if he makes Trimmy really low, he has to base. Still hovering. So cancelling the base there. Comp using the cleanse immediately. Level 6 on Comp. Procking the vitals as well. Dosh relatively Ooh, oh, just getting shattered. Oh. Exekick now going for another kill. Exekick absolutely popping off a trippy. He can't do anything! An instant double! Oh. SK bot lane just showing us again how strong they are. Larson's here. No summoners on Exekick. Dos, I think the play Level for Dos here is try to get out. Are they going to try and defend? No, just walk, walk the other way. Wait for the lantern. I think you can space Larson out. There's can no right choice. Exekick. Oh, the lantern! He's out! That's genius! Uses the ult to make target wants to go for the Zaya. Easy kill, easy shutdown. We're gonna pull out because the fights are continuing to happen. X kick, no ultimate. Immediate shutdown on the bottom side. Super clean gank coming in from Malrang. Gets the kill. Pretty much dead even. The biggest difference is gonna be the Herald, which will turn into about 300, 600 more gold. And now, fight kicking off. Immediate chain CC. Pushback from Surtus coming in just in time. Malrang not oh, quite able to finish the job. And Marcoon getting kicked back. Into searches, it's almost a disaster, but he does not connect. A uh, little bit of a mistake from Mal Likely to try and stop it. I just try to overload mid here. Oh, they're gonna a lot media. of potential setup here, just immediately gonna lock him down. There's surely no way out of this for the Azir. Searches gets the pushback, but he will not get the dash out to safety. Mm -hmm. Clean kill in the mid lane for Koi. Now Coming they will swap the middle Lissandra onto side lane. So, attempt of a fast play there from Larson. Look, Didn't work. Going in, heading trivia is big. The instant chain CC knocked up before he can dash out to safety. He has one more dash. It's it's burning. Goes golden, but now Irrelevant just gets the free fall. Now Rang is gonna kick him over the wall. No, the W taking him but it the decimating speed. easy for them, whereas Koi are going to need Fog of War. They're going to need flank vision if they want to find this setup. Marang's going to kick him here, maybe. Kick back, push back, trade it. Larson now going in. Sertos can't get taken down. Marku now spinning desperately. He gets mid laner out of there, but it's too little too late now. Frozen Thrall Q, Q, moving Q. in. Knock up coming through to deny anything else. Marku going oh, in. Marku looking for the Mar touch. Marku still standing against the red buff. He's healing. Larson going to get one back, but he's going to cost him his life. Marku making the outplay happen. Been. Two for two, Marcoon just held his ult as long as he could. No, we've been talking about Irrelevant this whole season. It has been a standout, you know, individual performances, but he's given us some of that winter flavor that we got where he's just on the top side, Five tanking, top. engaged now coming in. Doss gonna be the focus. So easy to kill this Thresh. Trimby now fishing for a little bit more. Shigenda zooming forward, running as fast as he can. Desperate to get Marcoon knocked back to the wall. That's the Gnar, that's the follow up, and the kill shutdown for Koi is huge. SK over full sound. Shigenda now running. Scion running faster. No flash. Gets slowed. Nice input buffer on the hop. Is able to make it out to safety. Dashing away, but there's just no way out of this one. He's gonna try. 
will not happen. Shut down there. So that's a cross map, but they knew that Koi in the next couple of seconds. We'll see if they can get here in time. Marang's just coming out of base gates. Trimby has the wards to place down. They're going to full commit For to this. 9k on the this burn. Super fast. They have to full commit on the burn. Certus oh. might have to jump out of the pit to push Marang away Gabori if he's going to get in range. Marang should be able to get here in time. The question is, do they push him back? Do they push him back? Getting lower. Are they going to risk the 50-50? How much time do they have? They're pushing Maorang away. Now they want to burn it down off to the backside. It's Trimby, but they've got no options left. Sertus versus Maorang. He's going to lose the 1v1, but he secures his team, the Baron. It's worth it. The rest of Koi now descending. Sertus going to buy as much time as he can. He will go down, but the cost of one life in exchange for a Baron 21 minutes into the game is a damn good deal for the side of SK. Really, 14. really. Doesn't have that Triforce finished yet. He has to run into the Wukong or something, doesn't he? This is really complicated. I think he might just be dead unless Ooh, he can uh, push back. Bit of a whiffy there. Wallop now leaping out to safety. Gale Force forward. The root's going to connect. That is one dead Gnar in the side lane. SK consistently punishing Shigenda for overextending. Launch now careful. coming in. No TP on Irrelevant. They need to be careful here. So much CC, so much media damage, but the clan's already coming out. The feathers are flying. The feathers are going to get pulled right back. Larson holding on for now. The E over the wall. The timing not quite right on the Zonias. Escaping, but burning so many resources. Surtis. Surtis. Oh, he's behind enemy lines! That is not where you want to be! That man misread the situation. Need to keep chasing here, Koi. Q lands on the DOS. Waiting for Flay. Flay back, not going to be enough. No Trippy now going in. Marcoon. Waiting on the clone, I think. Doesn't have the cooldown. It's just going to get shredded. It's going to get taken out. Tries to dash out to save. The healing will not be enough. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, it is Oof. just the Scion <sighs> pushing in. SK, they had Baron buffs. They had four of them. And they committed for a pick. The pick was great, but your Scion doesn't have to here. Down in the picture in picture, you can see contesting. Looking for setup. Big hook Big on hook. the Trimby follow up. Pushback is there. He's they dead. hit the Rakan out of the equation. Excellent for the side of SK. They can now even up the Drakes. Should be easy. Koi don't even want to contest this. They just need to pressure the Toto Drake. But I think Koi are the ones who will pull the trigger first. Larson. They're the ones who can start up this objective and look for the turn. Waiting Larson. for Darkness. Trying to fish for the jungler. Immediately just gets deleted. Larson pushes R. Comp pushes R. And that's all she wrote. So trade it back for Trimby. But that is not a good trade for the side of SK. Does stop Koi in their tracks. It makes it so starting up Baron becomes a lot harder because you are in a 4v4. Irrelevant can force his way in here. You did just invest the Lissandra and the Kai'Sa ultimate there. So SK are aware of it just too. SK were too far back. Eight seconds on the dragon. The easy objective here for SK is to start it up. They need to be careful here. Hook hits Shigenda. Now the target's still going to go forward. Search is fishing for it. The comp clean flash backwards. And now Search is in no man's lane. He's got no protection left. He goes golden, buys a brief moment. Oh, Larson. Larson. Larson on the flank. Keep your eyes on the Sandra. It's going to be big. Execute flashing back. Safety oh. getting kicked back into the team. SK, it is all falling apart. Another member will drop and Koi take the fight. They should take the Baron as well. They could even maybe look for two objectives here. They could go to Dragon together. Right, and I get it. You want to go for the shuffle there, but I feel like once you're past two items on his ear, the shuffle time of the game is mostly it's, over. It's a game of chicken, and you're playing a game of chicken against one of the best AD carries in Europe, right? So he's going to react. If he doesn't react, granted, maybe you get a kill there, but very, very just risky. yet. Larson. Larson has to be careful here. Yeeing out safety. Malrang Clean split pushing. Snare. Comp. Going forward into Relevant. Relevant shouldn't have enough damage on his own to take this matchup. It's still stepping going forward, on? though. Still trying to zone, but I think he's realizing he uh, this is not a matchup that you win. Immediate alt forward, land turn out to safety, but he still goes down. Yep. Comp says round two, baby. I think that was a crack and auto attack. All the meanwhile, Marang's been split pushing bot. The two cannons, are they hitting the inhibitor? They are. Two more shots. No, they drop aggro onto this tower, but I think they can pick three inhibs up here. And Koi are just picking SK apart. SK cannot find a fight. They are so desperate to get a 5v5 to find any angle to punish the cooldowns that are down on the side of Koi, but now Larson's ult is back up. They can just re-engage, they can just fish for more. They're not gonna fall up onto Larson. Eating into the middle of the team, will not fall up, will not take it. They've got inhibitors down, they don't need to overforce, yeah. they don't need to risk anything. Koi have this game in the bag if they can take a breath. Commit with Rakan Flash, they can commit with Lissandra, who connects, but Rakan can hooks. they follow up? A little bit of chunk Oak. always helps. Eskare holding on pretty nicely, Sion is here, but here comes the Mega, slowly building up. Shigenda off to the side, X-Kick isolated, but they're burning through the towers. Larson in the midst of the entire team now. It's an excellent ult to get things kicked off. X-Kick now leaping backwards, but he's oh, not Maorang. ranged to protect Shigenda and Maorang. Tag teaming on X-Kick, looking to shut this AD carry down and take him out of the game. Koi, a clean finish. Calm, controlled, collected in the late game to bring this win home as they tie SK up at three and two after they take some time in the base. Got a farm, no stats, don't they? Good execution from Koi. Didn't really need the Mega towards the end. It's just Lissandra Rakan. It's just way too much piled on top of SK. And as much as their comp was slowly getting to the right timers and slowly getting to the items, they had lost too much before that began. Yeah, and I think credit to Koi again. We saw SK build up a pretty decent advantage with their bot laner, but really good at finding these picks, really good at punishing SK for overstaying their welcome. SK 
finding will be strong on the side lane. Team fights are a whole nother story. A lot of the team fight power from Vitality is coming from their bot lane, from the Zeri, Lulu, and G2 will have a lot of their power in team fights. Coming from actually, I should know that he has to cover, but the, with the crab up, he's focusing on the crab. Rook and Blade will lose Scarl, and now he'll be spotted on this ward. Yike will finish it. Gank's coming in. Hook shot. Wall dive. Tries to get away from it, but it will not be enough with the shotgun. First blood. Quick on the top side from Vitality. But yesterday was a rough day for Broken Blade overall. Have to see if he can recover that difficult early play. He's been trading oh, on the roots. bottom side. And now kind of in trouble. They shouldn't be able to finish this kill. He's flashing out of safety. He's dashing away, but making it a grab the kill in the end. Not going to be greedy nope. either. The bow is on the bot side of the map. Pullback will connect. And they have the ult, so Photon ideally here can cancel the IQ with his ult. All in comes in, but I think he might yeah, just be dead. Not a lot of options here for him to escape. It's gonna go in onto Broken Blade. Oh my Hooks gosh! Wall dive back, Photon looking for the 1v1! It's cheeky, but Broken Blade not walking away. The minion's doing a lot of damage. Broken Blade, what are gonna go down? Q. Can creep in the meantime, trying to finish the job. Yike will get the kill. Broken Blade surviving in the end. 199. Nice himself a Drake just yet. Blue Orb comes in from Caps onto Drake to see if Bo was soloing it away. Photon on the dive. Going in for the dive immediately, feeling confidence. Rocket healing coming in, but will it be enough? Broken Blade desperately trying to remount. It'll be a one for one on the top side. Broken Blade losing some CS, but Photon finding the kill. That is so worth it, isn't it? They also have Blade coming in. Broken Blade's gonna face check this bush, isn't he? So Bo can maybe push him into Photon. No, it's OP. Clean cast coming out. Broken Blade, Bear Trap on the rope, connecting onto Bo. Wants to walk away from this one. E. Has the shotgun to try to make it back to safety. E not connecting is big. Broken Blade holding onto life, but cannot quite remount. So close, but Vitality again. Punishing on the top side. G2 responding immediately, looking to donate some plates to Caps. Uh, try to snowball this against yeah. Acacio Soraka. It is miserable, so may just want to keep this in the individual 1v1. Mm -hmm. As bit, Perks could be in trouble. Yeah, a bit miserable here. Caps could old flash. Oh, Flash waits for him to breathe fire, walks away, slithers away, wa rather. Killed there by Caps, a lot of pressure in mid now, can pick up a plate, plate's falling off soon, Bo will try to wave, he needs to be careful though, they can dive him. Looking for the follow-up, Kled now coming in, Bo gonna be in trouble, tries to knock him back, oh, Caps nice. still taking oh. tower aggro, clean punish from Bo, Ooh. but no! Oh, Soraka saving the day! Mickey X to the rescue. Beaver coming out, take a look at the gold here, on the side of your screen, Caps and Yike. But now we're gonna see the 1v1. Caps, I can't imagine he's favored here. No ultimate means he could be in trouble. Perks now coming in for a bit of revenge. Might not come out on top in the 1v1, but his top laner's got a big enough lead. It does. Midway, see if he can punish someone like Mickey X if he oversteps. Bo was thinking about it here. Could get his flash. Does Flashing indeed out. with the ultimate. Nice play Yike by Bo the there, but on the side. Looking for Bo. Bo now trying to go back to the team, get to safety. Lulu, can he keep him healthy? Bo, wild growth coming out. They can't quite finish the kill, or can they? They're finally gonna take him down. Broken Blade finding the kill. Hansama, upset, stepping forward. Feathers fly, but upset still, just sliding, gliding, upset, dashing upset. around all of this damage. He is unconcerned. He is 1v3, Photon. and he is winning. But Photon off to the side, gonna finish off Broken Blade. Coming the wish will be all oh. it is, because there is no time to remount. Upset continuing to dance forward. Hansama wants to meet the challenge, but on the bottom side, while all of this is happening. Caps is just pushing on the top side. Perks is damage. Coming in from the Aurelian Soul, but the Sorak is there to mitigate it. Bo, Bo, Bo is looking for the crab. Little bit risky. He's been split from his team. Bo's Upsets trying there, to get fancy with it, sidestepping. I don't think there's any play to be made here, Bo. Greedy. Caught Cut. out. Taken down. Yeah, Perks on mid. Upset was top. He was trying to get the crab. G2 actually playing with confidence. Upset could be in trouble. Yike, no ultimate. Just trying to zone Upset away so they can take the tower. That's mid lane down. There he goes. There's the ultimate. G2 trying to collapse on it. Caps. A lot of damage. Breathing fire from the backside means it's gonna happen on the top side of the map. However, Broken Blade continuing the push. They have to get this bot tower here, Vitality. They have to stick their own base timers. They're trying to find a five second window to burn this tower down. While G2 is one in time. They're immediately trying to take out upset. They're trying to chase him. There's nowhere for him to run. The Lulu will not be enough. The 80 carry has been deleted. Photon's off to the side, but he can do nothing in the face of G2 as they collapse in the mid lane. Herald crashes, but they managed to punish Vitality's overextension. I think Vitality Fulch crash comes in. TP behind Caps now. That's gonna be Photon. It's the solo lanes again looking for Caps on a side lane. Has the flower at all, and he's gonna use it right on the caps. That's the immediate knock of trying to turn and burn on the perks, desperate to get a kill back. Oh, trying oh, to oh, burn oh. through, can't quite get around the breath of light. And perks now on a killing screen. just gonna push in mid wave and come towards this dragon. Battle lines drawn. Caps has flash ultimates. I think he's thinking about it. Relian Soul creating so much space. Look at the zoning potential of this champion. Zone away now. Caps locked up, but he's gonna get the ult on the bow. That's gonna be a big bow now. Taking out of the equation. The dragon is no lower, lower, getting into the pit. Yank, taking it away. That's everything, but keep your eyes on the set. Keep your eyes on the carry of Vitality. Forced to flash out to safety, and now it is Perks flying over the wall. Photon looking for the thinking. damage, looking for the angle. Photon. Oh, playing with fire. He wants to chase this down. He still has the ultimate G2. Needs to get out. They're looking for Perks. Over the wall for Yank, trying to burn through. Photon on the backside. Can he get anything done? Perks flashing out to safety. Perks holding onto his life for now. Yank now chasing. Yank looking for the kill. But Photon, what can he get done? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Broken Blade remounting in the nick of time. G2 holding on. G2 taking the fight. Taking the
Dragon and setting their sights on the Baron. This should be an easy Baron Vitality. Work, Upset and Kaiser can only sit here and watch as the Baron gets melted. No wards on Kaiser, no wards on Upset. They can't get vision. The Zeri W will spot it getting finished. And Bo doesn't arrive in time. Can we get to 35, 40 minutes? If this game goes long and these teams just continue to match each other. Here's the play. Nope. Hold that thought. Caps. What can he do against Photon? Can he find it? Trying to sidestep, trying to get away, but Perks just does so much damage now, trying to burn through Photon's health bar as quick as he can, but the shutdown coming through. Again, again, again. That's third, fourth time they found caps on side. Photon and Perks doing work. Rokumbade might be able to get this bot tier too, but does this allow a window for Vitality to contest the Dragon? Or can G2 respond in time? Greedy recall here from Photon. Do they have the damage to get the kill? Silence immediately laid down, trying to lock him up, knocking him up, keeping him CC. Photon now just dashing out to save G. Yike on the chase. Is he going to have enough damage to finish the job? He is. That's unstoppable. But now Vitality barreling towards the objective yep. here. Eyes on the prize. Need to burn this down quickly. Yike's going to be sprinting down here. It's a 4v4. Mid laner and top laner gone. Two of the strongest points, actually, for both of these teams. Perks has the ultimate ready. I don't think Yike can get the steal, but can they take the fight? Here He's going to go for it, charge. maybe. Here comes the Kled, but they can't get through the AoE. It is only Broken Blade in the back line already. They've taken away the drink, really and now their eyes are set on Broken Blade. He's demounted. They've gotten away, and that is the ulti coming in from Perks. Just a bit of poke. Just a bit of damage. Caps has TP in three seconds. They're going to drop Healing the TP. Up. Photon's still 20 seconds away. Eyes on him. Caps now coming into the midst of the entire team, but he's just getting shredded. He's just getting eaten alive. Mickey now trying to keep him healthy. Caps now trying to zone away so they can focus down both so they can get a single pick. G2 behind enemy lines, but Vitality are the ones who have to run. TP in five seconds from Photon. Vitality have to kite. G2 can't walk into this meat grinder of the Arena on Solon Azeri. Maybe Vitality fancy a little bit of a 4v5 here. TP's coming in. The Soraka coming. sustain is doing so much work. The Perks AoE is massive. They can't afford to walk into the choke. They have Vials if they want to commit onto upset. The Soraka healing is going to be big. Perks now trying to make it out of safety. They're trying to delete the dragon as quickly as they can, but it's all eyes on upset. All eyes on Photon. Maybe they can be the ones to turn this around. Broken Blade right in the face of upset will not give him the space that he needs to work. That is Photon down. That is upset. Next on the list, G2. Precise target calling. Do not give Vitality Caps Caps the opportunity to turn. Vitality the opportunity to outplay, but Upset still fishing for it. Caps should take down Kaiser here. Kaiser, there's nowhere to go, but Upset will still baby, stand but... strong at the end of the day. It is G2's fight. Oh, Vitality tried to turn the 4v5, but the Vialed into the Striker Silence or Cassio W again. Back in this game with the help of his teammates, but it's the same story for Broken Blade. Now he has a 500 individual gold lead. He's a terror. He can walk face first and Upset. It's going to get harder now that Upset has the IE, but it'll be a lot easier now that G2 have secured the Baron uncontested yep. 30 minutes into the game. Backing away, breaking down the tier twos. Is he looking for an engage here, Yike? They could go into Perks here. He's stepping up really far. Perks going golden. What's the play here? Bo doesn't have the cast. Bo already used the cast. They're trying to lock him down. They're trying to burn through his health bar. They're going to be able to do it. Perks slaughtered outside the entrance of his own base. Overstay. But it's Photon on the bottom side. Caps. Matt has been taking out upset. It's Photon. There's no way back. He's got eight seconds. He needs to recall immediately. G2 breaking open the inhibitors. But Photon's still sticking around. Bo and Kaiser think that they can get it done. Photon's staying way too long over, on the I bottom think. side. But G2, they found the angle. They found their man. Perks taken down, upset taken down as Caps has the confidence to flash forward. Bo trying to be the difference maker. Photon trying to get something done, but he is silenced. There is no room for him to play. There is no room for him to speak. He will be cut down in his own base as G2 will break through vitality as G2 will find the win. Incredible showing there from G2 just ending on that Baron Perks walking up a little bit of disrespect gets punished instantly maybe with the stopwatch he thought he was alright but the silence again bought enough time so that the rest of G2 could follow up and then that ult flash from Caps was was fantastic I don't think they could have ended the game if Upset was up there but with that kill and